Hola Chica, welcome back to Chica Confident TV. This is your go-to spot to be injected with a little bit more confidence to go after your passions and monetize your business the way you've always dreamed. And if you are not new here, then you know I never like to waste time, so we're gonna dive right into the root and strong foundation of this video. So let's go. Highs and lows. So it's funny because some days I feel like I'm on top of the world and other days I feel really frustrated and like I just cannot seem to get it together and do things the right way. And that can be hard because a lot of what is seen is this glamorous, glorified view about being an entrepreneur. So it's hard to see that and then expect that day in and day out when you are one. But to me, the beauty is in the process. So I know that even when a day feels really frustrating and like nothing's going my way, that I can sit back and reflect and figure out what could I have done better today that I can do the next day? And how can I really strengthen my emotional state and my personal development and my mentality and even physically, feeling healthier and being healthier is one and the same. And my mental state definitely is connected with my physical state. So even getting up and going for a walk in the morning and just getting my blood flowing definitely leads into a better and more productive day for me because I do a lot of work in my home uh, and I do a lot of work in coffee shops. So understanding that it's normal to have these struggles and that long-term is where your mentality needs to be, which is leading you right into my tip two or my piece of advice number two, is that this is a long-term process and overnight success does not exist. I don't care who you talk to or what anybody says, it's just not real, at least not sustainable success. So maybe you get success for like a year and then it drops down because it wasn't produced in the right way and it wasn't produced with a long-term mentality. It was a get money quick scheme and I see a lot of that and it's frustrating but honestly it's kind of irrelevant because I'm in my own lane and I'm excited about what I'm producing and who I'm helping because it's my dream and it's my true passion. So it doesn't really matter what others are doing. So being in your own lane and focused and understanding that the learning curves are just part of the process and honestly falling in love with that process is a huge game changer. It's been a huge game changer for me once I really held on to that and stopped worrying about, you know, how quick I was going to make it or how many followers I had on Instagram. That was like my number one thing when I started. My vlog was gaining followers on Instagram and it's kind of funny because at any moment any of the social media platforms can mold and change and go away. So for me, it's really important to express the importance of having your own space that you own, which for me is my, my blog and using Kajabi. So it's sustainable and I control it. So that's definitely a choice that I've made that's thinking a lot more long-term because if I solely rely on social media, then I'm going to stay frustrated. And it's just a constant whirlwind with algorithms. And to me, connecting with your audience is what matters. And using social media to do that is wonderful, but it's not the only part of your business. With anything good is going to come with sacrifice. And for me, that's been a lot of emotional sacrifice, uh, time and sanity <laughs> in some ways. And it's necessary if you care about the business and you want to see it grow and scale. For me, it's been a lot of frustration with, you know, maybe friends that I have that don't fully understand what I'm doing. And that's okay because I wouldn't either if it were me and I did not understand this industry until I started immersing myself in it. So you can't really blame somebody who doesn't, who isn't involved in it for not understanding it because it's just normal. Use that as an opportunity to educate people you love and your friends and those who truly, truly care are going to stick around hands down no matter what. But it's become an adventure for me to explain what I do because it's a lot different than what I used to say. I worked in a hospital called St. Jude. That is where I used to work right out of college. And immediately when I said that name, it was like, oh, you work there. Um, and they'd always want to know more about it. And it was very understood. But this is not as understood So with my blogging business. So it's an opportunity for me to educate and inspire others who either want to do this too. Maybe that's you. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur and start your own blog 
blog, your own platform. I'm so glad you're here. Or maybe you're somebody who is just trying to receive education about the industry, even though maybe you are not interested in pursuing it yourself. Someone you love is. So yeah, being willing to make the sacrifices has definitely been a huge game changer and important factor in being an entrepreneur investing back into the business. So I mentioned in a previous video that it's super important to understand financially where you stand before you even begin this process. And if you watch the video and realize, okay, I've already begun my vlogging process, started building a platform, so am I too late? It's never too late. You can always go back and fix it, but the longer you go in the wrong path, the harder it's going to be to fix it. So it's important to understand that finances are a huge, huge priority and knowing where your limits are and what you can or can't spend in a month and money you have coming in compared to what you're spending is a huge factor that I honestly could go on for for a long time and I probably will in another video. But for the sake of this video, being able to invest back in your business is going to continue to scale it and it's really fun because when you make some money and you're like, okay, how can I invest this money to grow my business even more? Because it's just a constant building block for success. It's going to continue to strengthen your business and quite frankly, make it unbreakable, which is exciting because this is not a slow process and this is a very draining but rewarding process too. Don't be afraid to fail. <laughs> getting a little emotional, but it's fine. I definitely, when I first started this, had days where I just got up and started walking away from the work for a while. I have a journal that I've kept that I may make into a book eventually, an ebook, and maybe depending on when you're watching this video, I have already done that. But it's been a draining deal and it's been something where I had to just finally accept that producing and creating is what matters and producing as much content as I could as best as I could and learning through the process how to do it better next time, that is how you grow. And if people hate on that, don't really care and you shouldn't either because this is your journey and those trolling haters frankly are probably not relevant anyways. They may not even be real people sometimes. And it's honestly just what comes with being a creator online is people that just spend all their time hating on others because they personally are very unhappy. So. Being afraid to fail is thinking too much to me on what others think and I'm okay with failing. In fact, I am glad when I fail because then that's how real growth has happened with chicaconfident.com because I've seen what I did wrong, I've tweaked it and then when I do it differently the next time and see the success and see the slow progression, it makes me wanna cry because it's such a huge part of who I am and this business is basically an extension of me. So it's rewarding and if you are afraid to fail, I promise you it's okay to fail. It's okay to, it's okay to mess up because you learn from that and it's only going to make you a better entrepreneur and stronger mentally and emotionally. I hope these pieces of advice have been encouraging for you. Maybe if you are struggling, definitely drop me a line, leave me a comment below with what you maybe are struggling with and how you've dealt with it. And if you are in the process of becoming an entrepreneur or starting your business, I wanna hear from you. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like it, because if you don't give it a thumbs up, how can I know you liked it, Chica? We will chat in the next video.